billion dollars in new investment in the next 25 years. This dedication also highlight, highlights a resurgence of activity in water development everywhere in this state. Wherever you look, you can see new construction for flood control, for power, for irrigation, for industry, to provide water for many of our fast-growing cities. Private and public utilities are building power-producing systems. Local districts are putting up dams for irrigation. The state has embarked on its great project to protect the North from floods and to bring the water into the deficient areas of the valley and the urban South. The federal government, a president who regards the West as an equal partner in our nation's destiny. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Governor Brown. colleague in the Congress, Governor Brown, Senator Kiko, Senator Engel, Congressman Biz Johnson, Senator Richards, Mr. Brody, Mrs. O'Neill, Mr. Mayor, Secretary Udall, Under Secretary Carr, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure for me to come out here and help blow up this valley and uh, the cause of progress. <laughs> we are able to do anything in this, uh, this occasion. I do uh, want to say that this has been a, a comparatively short trip to come all the way from the capital of our country in Washington yesterday morning, about 9 o'clock, and to fly and visit the uh, largest earth roll dam in the world in Pierce, South Dakota, to visit uh, the beginning of a great new project, the Frying Pan, Arkansas, where they're going to take water from around 9,000 feet through a mountain and irrigate a whole valley below in eastern Colorado, and then to visit uh, Yosemite National Park, which belongs to all of us, fortunately, and join 1,500,000 other Americans who will visit that park this year and follow in the footsteps of a distinguished predecessor who was the last president to visit there, President Theodore Roosevelt. This is a fast trip, but if uh, it had no other benefit than to permit us to look at this valley and others like it across the country, where we can see the greenest and most richest earth producing the greatest and richest crops in the country, and then a mile away, see the same earth and see it brown and dusty and useless and all because there's water in one place and there isn't in another. I know of no better trip for any president or any member of the House or Senate or indeed any citizen, particularly those of us who live in the East where water is everywhere and is a burden to realize how very precious it is here in the Western United States. And I'm also glad to come from Washington where we are constantly struggling and seeing a progress being made almost imperceptibly to come and visit three areas, South Dakota, Colorado, and here, where progress is being made. And the important lesson in all of those projects is that progress isn't being made as a result of a sudden idea suddenly coming into fruition. This project, the Frying Pan Arkansas, and the project in South Dakota represented 10 20 and 30 years effort of devoted citizens. Things do not happen, they are made to happen. And 
this project is the result and our action today of 30 years of men, some of whom have now died, who thought that this dam would help this valley. And the other point that I think has been most useful about this trip is to see uh, how Americans can work together. We are a very independent people, 180 million. And it is hard for us to agree on any course of action. We always have some different ideas of how that course of action can be made more perfect. And yet in this case, one part of your state has been willing to help another part. In the case of Colorado, Western Colorado has been willing to divide its water with Eastern Colorado. In the case of this project and Colorado and South Dakota, the people from the Eastern United States have been willing to invest their tax money in this part of the country because they realize that as this state does well, so does the United States. Nothing could be more disastrous for this country than for the citizens of one part of the state to feel that everything that they have is theirs and it should not be shared with other citizens of this state. Or people from the East to say there's no benefit to us in spending our money to make this valley green. That is the way to stand still. And the way to move ahead is to realize that we are citizens of one country who can freely move from one state to another. And as one state does well, so do the others. And if one state stands still, so do all the rest. Progress represents the combined will of the American people. And only when they are joined together for action, instead of standing still and thinking that everything that had to be done has been done, it's only when they join together in a forward movement that this country moves ahead and that we prepare the way for those who come after us. As Mr. O'Neill and others who made this project possible 20 years ago, they prepared the way for us. So I'm glad to come here. And I think it's a useful trip for any citizen and any president of the United States. And what this project also symbolizes is the state working with the federal government, the local communities working with the state. This program is unique in this area. There is no other project in the history of the United States where a state has put in such a large contribution to the development of its own resources and where the national government has joined with the state. This is a unique ceremony because this partnership is at the highest level the amount of contribution of both is unique and special, and the benefits that will come from it are unique and special. And I think that those who took part in this and made it possible wrestled with this problem. But I believe that all Californians will remember the leadership which your distinguished governor has given to this great cause of making water available to the people of this state. And I salute him for it. and the members of your congressional delegation who fought for this, and the members of the legislature, the House and the Senate here in California. This has brought your state to be the pioneer in the United States in the field of development and conservation of our natural resources. California in this area is number one. And it has helped make possible the San Luis Project, which joins all of us together as full and equal partners. In many ways, the growth problems and the conservation problems of California are the same kind of problems that our country faces. To come here from the eastern United States and to realize what a booming country this really is, it gives us new encouragement to consider what actions we can take in the 60s to make life easier for those who are coming in the 70s. We surmount these growth problems only if we work together if we engage in a great cooperative effort and learn to think and strengthen the United States of America. And I'm confident that here in California, which looks to the future and not to the past, that you understand that lesson well. And I hope from this great project will spread a renewed sense of commitment by all the American people so that this country in 1962 can continue to move forward. Thank you.
do behind you and across the valley. Where does this blast? Beyond that projection over there, Governor, and on the opposite window over here and across the valley here. of the San Luis Dam. You now see a helicopter flying, dropping smoke, which will be at the height of the dam itself. That is the crest height. When were you a movie director? 